Hey everyone, it's me, Chris from Body Noble Fitness Coaching. And uh, today we're gonna talk about um, using exercises with bands for biceps. And the thing is, whether you're using bands or whether you're using free weights, when you wanna hit the biceps, it's all about the ankles. You know, in the arms, with the biceps, you got three primary positions, okay? So you got the arms along the sides of the body, you know, and that, that's gonna be, um, like when you're hitting uh, barbell curls, regular old barbell curls, or regular old dumbbell curls, standing seated, doesn't matter. Um, arms along the sides, that's gonna hit your biceps um, in the mid-range position. But um, And secondly, you're gonna want the, the, all right, and the second position is gonna be with the arms in front of the body. So when you go to the arms in front of the body, you're gonna think like a preacher curl, or you're gonna think like a spider curl, you know, and things like that. And that will, um, and there's a little difference between the preacher and the spider. You probably see me not talk about this in videos, but um, as far as making your arms look good, you know, there's one with the arms in front of the body, and that's an end range position. So if I'm doing spider curls or high pulley cable cur curls or something like that, that's gonna be where the bicep is only working from here to here, here to here, the end of that position. Okay, all before that, not really too much bicep work, okay? And a beginning position, which is gonna be all the various types of preacher curls, okay? But those are going to be, um, that, think of that as arms in front of the body. And you can alternate between the two types of exercises for more complete bicep development or better bicep workout if you, um, if you want to put those in. And the last, definitely not least, um, arms, behind the body. So with the arms behind the body, you're gonna get more of a stretch, like when you're doing uh, incline curls, you know, because that bicep attaches in your, shoulder, in your shoulder, so the further that arm gets behind your body, you know, the more that it's going to stretch, but you have to have the flexibility um, able to get the stretch. So you might not wanna start with extreme inclines, you know, you might wanna work on your flexibility of the bicep or the, the pecs um, where that bicep attaches in the shoulder. Um, so as you let, as you get a more uh, steep, or not steep, less steep incline, um, you'll be able to do so without uh, injuring yourself. But as you start with these, when you're working the biceps, you want tension to be all in the right places. So, you know, as I do the seated or the um, or the standing um, curls with the bands, I stand so that I have a little bit of tension in the beginning, but most of my tension is gonna be in the middle and I try to keep those arms in place nice and, and uh, tight to my body, okay? And, and um, so if I step, if I move my feet further apart as I step on the band, that's gonna make the band stretch more, so that's gonna be more tension, all right? Uh, moving on, when I use the preacher curls or the spider curls, um, I put the band in the right place so that if it's the preacher at the beginning, I want a real good stretch at the beginning and it'll end before I get right up about here or at the end of that uh, range there. Okay, so this is the setup or a very similar setup that you want. You know, um, if you're standing up too upright and you're trying to do this, it's not gonna work because you're not gonna get in the right position, one. And then two, if you're trying to be seated, you're not gonna get the arms to be able to straighten out and still have tension on them. So remember, all about tension in the right places. Okay, so with the incline curl or the exercise that's mimicking the incline curl, and there's certain cable curls um, that this will mimic too, when the arms are behind you, you want that tension down in there because this one's all about the stretch. So, so as, as you're getting those arms stretched out and more lengthened behind you, you know, you're putting more stretch on the muscle, making that muscle work over a longer range of motion and um, getting more complete bicep development.